Welcome back to the Happy Chicken Coop YouTube channel. There's a lot of discourse on which chicken vaccination is necessary and how helpful they really are. In this guide, we hope to clarify things for you by giving an unbiased look at your different options. We will also cover situations when vaccines are helpful and when they are not needed. In some cases, you might need one chicken vaccination or several for the best immunity. But before we get into it, please don't forget to like and subscribe to this YouTube channel and to learn more about the best practices in raising your birds, you can visit our website at thehappychickencoop.com or subscribe to our daily newsletter by clicking this link. Now, do we really have to vaccinate our chickens? Actually, there are no legal mandates that require you to vaccinate your flock. While many shows, clubs, fairs, and other poultry organizations require these, chicken vaccines are not required for backyard keepers who will not take their birds off the property. But to cross state lines and international borders, you will need proof of vaccination and usually a health certificate. When should you not do chicken vaccinations? There are a few circumstances when you should absolutely not vaccinate your chickens. These situations are number one when you're raising broilers for meat these chickens have a shorter lifespan than the withdrawal period so it is not possible for you to safely vaccinate and then consume the birds meat number two when you have older chickens that are due to be culled. For similar reasons as the broilers or fryers, you have to let chickens have that withdrawal period to get the vaccines worked out of their body. Number three, when you're unable or unwilling to toss the eggs. If you have a laying hen, you must dispose of those eggs for however long the vaccine manufacturers recommend. When you only have one hen whom you want to vaccinate but do not separate her from the flock, you'll need to dispose of all eggs out of caution. If you're unable or unwilling to do this, skip the vaccines. Number four, when chickens are already sick, stressed, or underweight. The vaccines are not effective if your chicken is not in good health. Focus on getting them in better condition before moving on to the vaccines. And number five, if you want to run a vaccine-free farm. Some chicken producers are focused on brooding out the need for vaccines. In these programs, breeders avoid vaccines and use survival of the fittest to continue their breeding program. Sick birds fight it and get better or pass away, while healthy ones continue on. And one other thing, you shouldn't vaccinate for diseases or illnesses that are not already common in your area. Vaccinating unnecessarily brings new organisms to a flock that could be potentially dangerous. But when is it a good idea for chicken vaccinations? Vaccines have proven effective in preventing or reducing the effects of certain illnesses or diseases in chickens. Vaccines are strongly recommended for the following situations. Number one, bringing chickens on and off your property repeatedly. Fairs, shows, auctions, sale barns, etc. are all examples of easy ways for your chickens to contract new diseases. Vaccinating protects traveling individuals, your home flock, and all the other birds they may meet while on the road. Number 2. Areas with heavy disease risk If you know that your area has an issue with a disease or two, you should at least consider inoculating your flock against those issues. And number 3. Properties with heavy foot traffic if you run a farm stand or petting zoo or regularly welcome visitors onto your property, your chickens are at a greater risk. The chickens can easily pick up issues from your visitors' hands, shoes, and clothing. This is especially true for visitors with farms of their own or people who may have visited another farm prior to yours. Where to get a chicken vaccination? While most pets and livestock need a veterinarian's assistance to be vaccinated, many poultry vaccines are available online. Some of these vaccines will need veterinary office approval. If you have a good relationship with your local veterinarian, they can sometimes write the prescription they need over the phone rather than having to visit you or lug your flock into them. It's also possible that your hatchery will vaccinate day-old chicks on your behalf before shipping them to you. Here are some of our top recommendations for finding vaccines online. Valley Vet Supply, Mayor Hatchery, Jeffress Pet, and Chewy. Here are the most commonly used vaccines for chickens. Number 1. Marek's Disease Vaccine Protects against Marek's disease, a highly contagious viral infection that affects chickens. Number 2. Infectious Bronchitis Vaccine Guards against infectious bronchitis virus, which causes respiratory illness in chickens. Number 3. Newcastle Disease Vaccine this vaccine works against Newcastle disease, a viral infection that can cause respiratory, nervous, and digestive symptoms in chickens. Number four, avian influenza vaccine. It helps prevent avian influenza, 
a viral disease affecting birds' respiratory, digestive, and nervous systems. This vaccine is still being tested by the USDA but may be more widely available soon. There is also a vaccine for humans. Number 5. Infectious Bristle Disease or Gumbro Vaccine This vaccine protects against the infectious bristle disease virus, primarily affecting chickens' immune systems. Number 6. Foul Pox Vaccine this vaccine works against foul pox, a viral disease characterized by skin lesions and sometimes respiratory symptoms. Number 7. Salmonella Vaccine Helps prevent salmonella infections in chickens, which can also be transmitted to humans through contaminated eggs or poultry products. Number 8. Coccidiosis Vaccine Aids in preventing coccidiosis, a parasitic disease affecting the intestinal tract of chickens. Number 9. E. coli Vaccine this vaccine protects against certain strains of the E. coli bacteria, which can cause respiratory and systemic infections in chickens. And number 10, Mycoplasma galiseptikum vaccine. Wards off Mycoplasma galiseptikum, a bacterial infection causing respiratory symptoms in chickens and turkeys. To learn more about these diseases, what they can possibly do to your chickens, and how vaccines can prevent them, Read our full article linked here. Every farm, region, and flock is different, meaning there is no one-size-fits-all approach to vaccinating your flock. Depending on your area, goals, operation style, and personal views, you may need one kind of chicken vaccination, several vaccines, or none at all. Currently, the most popular and necessary chicken vaccinations in the U.S. are for Merrick's disease, fowl pox, and infectious laryngotracheas. I hope you find this video helpful. If you do, please give this a thumbs up and share it with your friends. You can also read more about chicken health on our website at thehappychickengroup.com or subscribe to our email newsletter for daily tips and tricks in raising your backyard flock. Thanks for watching and I wish you the best on your chicken keeping journey.